Hey guys, so it's been a while and I know I still have some videos that are late and delayed, but um, this is an un unpredicted video. Uh, so I want to talk about the Utah outcasts and um, how their presumptuous attitude and their disrespect for other people's opinions interferes. So I occasionally like to watch their shows. They're entertaining, to say the least, but they're very intellectually dishonest. They're very misinformed. They don't even know what they're talking about most of the time. Um, and they are unironically socialists and they don't even know what a socialist is, to be honest. If they knew, they wouldn't be socialists in the first place. The funny fact is they act earlier than doll and make fun of everyone whose beliefs they disagree with. And it's funny, they just released a video uh, claiming that they don't like debates because it's not the most, uh, <laughs> it's not the the smartest debater that wins or the, let's say, the most logical uh, argument that wins, it's the most eloquent that wins. Um, it's not that. It's the fact that they are not ready to debate anyone. They resort to slandering and making fun of everyone. I'm not a Christian and uh, I don't agree with Christians, but the way they treat uh, everyone who believes in God and who has some sort of belief other than in socialism, they will make fun of everyone, especially Felicia. She's so immodest and so presumptuous. I don't understand this kind of people. I think they're everything wrong with the left. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because John Gisala, Gisala, I'm sorry, I'm not native English, speaker, so I may pronounce it wrong. I'm sorry, John, if you see this. Um, left a very innocent comment. Um, choose Torah or choose Judaism. Choose the truth, choose Judaism. He wasn't antagonizing people. He wasn't trying to say, oh, you're atheists, you're bad people. But they still featured him twice in the troll section. They didn't try to debate him. They didn't, they just featured him as a troll. Then he left a comment saying, um, uh, thank you for letting me know you were making a video about me. Um, and they mocked him yet again. Um, it's like for them, everyone that dissents their political views or their religious views are trolls. That's that's not the case. If you don't believe in the same things someone believes, then fine, just don't call them trolls. Your inability to debate anyone shouldn't impact your perspective of that person, your image of that person. And uh, then in the same video, what struck me the most is their utter disrespect for older generations. They were attacking boomers, like boomers were all bad. And they forget that boomers built this generation. They rebuilt what was destroyed. You know, they, they made basically what we are today. We were raised by boomers, most of us. Uh, okay, not I, my mom isn't a boomer, my dad either, but 
boomers were very influential in generating their own set of political views. They were raised by boomers and they show no disrespect for older generations. I mean, yes, you may disagree with them, but respect them, you know? You may respectfully disagree with them. You don't have to behave like you're the best generation, like you're all perfect, like you're all knowing. And I agree with one of the commenters. They just like act like me, 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 I'm the best, I'm whatever. And they, they have no respect for anyone that preceded them and the, the ideas that originated their own ideology. They made fun of uh, of hippies and they made fun of everyone, saying that it was naive, saying that they didn't do anything, that whatever. They are the reason that these people have these ideas nowadays. Now, I don't agree with hippies. I don't agree with most of their views, but they are spitting on those who originated their own mindset, which is a huge disrespect, not only with people they don't agree with, but also with the people that originated their own ideologies. Uh, then they unironically defend socialism and go very, very avidly against anyone who is a conservative, uh, claiming their conservatives are literally Nazis when they forget that they, as socialists, are the ones who share more in, most in common with Nazis. They are socialists, they share the same mindset most times, they are so oblivious to the fact that Marxism, Leninism, any form of socialist is anti-Semitic. Any form of socialist of socialism has the same nefarious roots that rotten society. Be left-leaning or right-leaning socialism. It is all bad. It's all the same trash. Communism, anything who has its base on socialism, it's a nefarious ideology. The same, uh, I'll make a video on this um, exposing socialism and explaining how Karl Marx uh, is actually to blame for Hitler and Stalin and all that because the very same anti-Semitism you can see in Hitler was already present in Karl Marx and all of this is caused by cultural Christianity and the blood libels the money libels, every single libel that has been spread about Jews for centuries. And you can see that in Marxism, which is an originated socialism, which originated both the communism parties, the communism nonsense, and the Nazi nonsense. They, I don't know, they make fun of Jordan Peterson, they make fun of great people who are well-read and know a lot of philosophy. I've never seen any of the Utah outcasts pick up a book and read. Not only that, I laugh when I talk about Judaism because they don't know the first thing about Judaism. And um, going back to how they disrespected John Gisala, I mean, Felicia, you're talking to an, about an older man who has spent probably most of his life studying Talmud and Torah. At least try to learn from them. You may not believe in God. No one is asking you to believe in God. 
You should respect everyone's views because you can't prove that God doesn't exist. You can't prove who is or isn't God. All you have to go by is your own set of beliefs, but you only want to believe in yourself. You're trusting socialism, a very failed ideology, and mocking people who believe in God. Look, I know that you have no respect for Hashem, but try to respect other people. Gashala is a very, very intellectual man. I have seen, watched his videos for a long time. By the way, thank you for uh, making that video because I didn't realize YouTube had unsubscribed me from his channel, so I was able to find him again. But I think that you should start debating and being more honest intellectually because being a little cocky and making fun of people who have dissenting ideas from you isn't doing you any favors. Yes, your content is entertaining, but is it actually teaching anything to anyone? It's not. It's literally not teaching anyone anything. You're just renting and pretending you're better than everyone else, and you aren't. You're socialists. You believe in SJW nonsense. And truth be told, socialism failed everywhere, and it's going to keep on failing and failing and failing. You should see the rat experiment, and that explains everything about the Utah outcast. And I know I promised earlier to make a video about the Red Experiment. Actually, a series of videos because it's really fascinating and it explains so much about today's society. But yeah, and please, Felicia, act more modest. And modesty isn't going to make you better than everyone else. Use arguments rather than act obnoxiously. And to everyone else, I really recommend to follow Sean Gishala. I will link to his YouTube channel. And um, yeah, that's it. Today I was just um, ranting about disrespect for other people. Um, I shall say that I used to be a Gnostic atheist. Um, and to be honest, I never never disrespected anyone who was religious. In fact, when I was with my grandma, um, I made sure that she'd go to church. I, at the time, I didn't know about the Buddha and all that, but I thought, you know, if you really believe it is important for you, you should follow your religion truly, and you should keep your religion, even though I didn't believe in God at the time, or so I thought, but I had a huge respect for religious people. I disagreed with them, I debated them, but I respect them. And that's what the Utah outcasts don't do. They have no respect for anyone who has diverging ideas. They live in a stupid echo chamber where they can't grow because they don't debate. The importance of the debate is for either you or the other person to learn and grow from it, to evolve. If you sit in your echo chamber making fun of everyone who has diverging opinions rather than analyzing where does this person come from? What is that person's history? Why does that person believe this is the truth? Or why does that person follow this set of ideologies or, or policies? What is it about, let's say, a, why does a conservative defend, uh, let's say, Defend, uh, defend capitalism. Why do they defend capitalism? Why do they think that it's more advantageous than socialism? 
Why do they perceive uh, border control as more uh, valuable than open borders? Questioning the origin, questioning the reasons behind someone's thought process, it's what helps us to grow and evolve. Mocking someone isn't going to make us grow or the other person. It just shows how petty you are. And um, you can learn a lot from John Gishala. He's making outreach. And it's not easy to make outreach. In fact, uh, there is a no proselytizing situation in Judaism nowadays. And he's going out of his way to reach out to people and help people grow and learn. He, he's a good man. And um, what she did, especially Felicia, was not okay. I, I completely feel offended that she didn't respect this man who spent most of his life studying Torah and Talmud. You think you know everything, but you didn't even read a single word or analyze the most intricate legislative system in the world that actually originated most of Western philosophy, most of Western law systems. It's quite fascinating, really. You should study Talmud and you should study Torah. Um, then again, um, you see, when I was an atheist, I studied Torah. I studied, I, I read the Quran. I read the Hadith. I, I studied the Christian Bible. I studied Kabbalah. I studied a lot of things. And that's what led me to Judaism. Um, I'm converting to Judaism. And I was an atheist. The thing is, you were always learning. You were always learning. How can you say that God doesn't exist if you're not even learning science? You're not learning history. You're not reading. You're just making fun of everyone. You're making fun of Jordan Peterson, who is a very smart intellectual who studies philosophy, who studies religions. <laughs> who are you? Just, just seriously. Um, honestly, so that's this for today. Shabbat Shalom. And um, I'm really sorry about this rant. Um, I just think that uh, the left is becoming more and more obnoxious and they have no respect for anyone who shows some dissent uh, to their ideas. Uh, bye, and I'll link to uh, Kishala's uh, YouTube channel below in the first comment. And um, I hope you tell me what you think. And of course, I'll also link to the Utah podcast because, well, they don't deserve it. But since I'm talking about them, I'll link to their channel so you can see for, for yourself what they stand for. Anyway, bye-bye. Until next video.